three, two, one. Engine ignition and liftoff. Three spacecraft left Earth this morning. Here's an explanation on why they are useful for us. Stick with me. Liftoff was 7.30 a.m. ET from LC-39A Kennedy. On board, IMAP Carruthers Geo Corona Observatory and NOAA's FOL-1. They're all headed toward the Sun-Earth L1 region, about a million miles sunward. IMAP maps the edge of our solar bubble. It detects energetic neutral atoms that ricochet back from the boundary of the heliosphere so we can see how the sun's wind meets interstellar space. Carruthers will image Earth's geocorona, a huge faint hydrogen halo that glows in Lyman Alpha. That helps model how our outer atmosphere responds to the sun. SWFOL1 is the practical one, a space weather beacon for early warnings of solar storms that can affect power grids, GPS, and comms. Target operations at L1 in early 2026. What to watch next? Cruise and checkouts over the next few months for IMAP and Carruthers, and first science once commissioning is done. Expect better storm alerts once SWFO L1 is online at L1. Save this so you can explain today's launch in one sentence. IMAP maps the edge, Carruthers images Earth's halo, SWFO warns us of solar storms. Comment L1 and I'll reply with what L1 is, how ENA imaging works, and the next milestones.